What's up? I'm Grizz. Welcome. Episode 9, Hyoka. Really fascinating episode last week. Uh, got me very, very excited to kind of see what's going to be happening here. And uh, I'm just excited to kind of see how we, we resolve this mystery. I'm assuming it's not over here. And we'll have to kind of just continue on and use whatever clues that we can to kind of solve things. I do have my suspicions, but that's okay because... Yeah, I feel like we don't have enough info to get everything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll kind of keep an eye out for that. If you like it all, the like and subscribe to me a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion. Please leave any comments about this episode or series. It's a good going on episode nine. Gotcha. I do too. Gladly. <laughs> yeah. You guys should know this shit. I like her design, like her hair. And her, like, laid back, like, the, the way she wears her clothes all messy. Weird little shift from him there, huh? This episode's 27 minutes? My god. <laughs> Were they on that, not on, like, a normal TV time slot for this? Because all the episodes are, like, very strange uh, times. I'm just curious. Or is this, like, like in ReZero and they just, like, bought out all the spots because they, like, we got too much shit to fit in? Okay. <laughs> Guess they're not good. All right. <laughs> she likes it. Because it was the perfect location for it. Right, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't have to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question our questions. What if Hongo is not a real person and they're just lying this whole time? Oh. No, no, it was very well received, yeah. Do you really want it to have a problem with it? Why are you getting so aggressive about those? Settle down. As far as I know, close book. We ain't learned shit. Wait. Wait. You haven't asked any of them, or none of them know anything? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but it's just right in his own- no. 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 <laughs> she buys it. <laughs> okay. So he has a he has a different vision for this. <笑><笑>簡単さ。yeah. I mean, I guess that would make sense, yeah. We were on the bottom, right? There's a window right over there. Through the door that was locked, though. Right. Right, if it's locked from the outside, it was locked on the inside. <laughs> I mean, she might have not. Right. So realistically, we're saying it's either somebody came out the window or one of these other people did it and they actually had the keys and were able to lock it somehow and pulled off some like big fucking big move that nobody else could do and then they came back through it, right? Smart. When did we start filming? Right, 
取れるだろう。I mean... どうだどうだと言われても。<笑>でもそれはちょっとミステリーとしてでき。Right, that's, that's where I'm at. だとしても犯人は犯人<笑> What does it matter? Yeah, the... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. 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 At least I really hope that's not the case, that they're just like, well, realistically, she just didn't finish the script or have it, have it really planned out, because then I'm going to be upset. I really need a, a victim or a uh, murderer here, you know? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bring in the next person. You ain't got nothing for us. Sure, but it's not well written if that's the case, you know? <laughs> I would hope not. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I'm not either. Right. 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 Oh, gotcha, because of all the other windows, so it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Valid. Sure, sure. You choose a safer route, got it. Right, right, right. I like how they all didn't like them, and she just keeps eating them. <laughs> we have to determine who's the most qualified for those. Mm. I don't have that much experience personally. None. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Sure, sure. Yeah, he's not. He can't help. Don't worry about that. He's just here to get, get you guys thinking. Not good. Move it along. <laughs> but realistically, I don't think we're going to accept anybody's ideas. I think we're going to take in everybody's things once again and kind of be like, this could work or this could work, you know? What's up, brother? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Got it. So we might find our answer on this. Like a general idea. Oh yeah, buddy knows all the answers then. He's not even gonna help us, huh? So nanda. Dakara shiroto dat the yunda yo. So tomo yeru de show ne. Yeah, but you're being kinda mean about it. You find notes that she left inside them, maybe, yeah. Kawata shiru shiga shite arimasu. Hora. There we go. We're about to have some breakthroughs. What do they say? Hora, hora. Kochira no ni wa. Does it say things and I'm just not getting translations? We're trying to do that right now. <laughs> sure. But it could have been somebody involved specifically putting that key in front of him, too. We already determined that. Which wouldn't have enough time from the time that everything happened. Right, also that. Right, also that. Right, also that. 
まあその通りだ同じ理由で被害者本人が密室を作った可能性も否定されるこれきくんだったかなこの密室どう解けばいいと思うさあ<笑> I truly that's why you're here dude 本郷から念を押されてね人がぶら下がっても絶対に切れないロープを用意しろって、okay. 使い方はもうわかるだろう No, I don't. <laughs> だからさ、1階から入れないなら2階から入ればいいんだよ。2階の右側通路にはコーノスがいた。実はコーノスは、キャシャに見えるがあれで登山部なんだ。コーノスは2階の窓からザイルを垂らし、それを伝って神手袖でカイトを殺し、帰りも同じルートで逃走し。But, but doesn't that go against the same sort of, same sort of thing that we kind of went against to begin with? That there's a chance that you look outside the other windows, and if you look over enough, you can end up seeing the, the rope or something. I mean, I guess it's a little less obvious than just having somebody run away, but you could see this person dangling down from there if you just looked across, right? So to me, that kind of comes up. Eh. Also, did they introduce the rope at any sort of point? I mean, I guess they don't have to. But also, I would have to go back and check who, who the people were, because if, if we sent two people on both of the upstairs routes, which I don't know if that's the case, then that possibly wouldn't happen either. So it all depends whoever the person who got sent directly above him was. I think it's definitely better than the first one. It is. Also, yeah. What don't you like about it? I feel like something with her eating these is like something I'm supposed to know or pay attention to, and I'm not picking up on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Yeah, yeah. They're great. Oh, no. Oreki-san-wa-are-ga-tadashii-to-omoare-na-ka-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-
But logically, you could just turn anything into that genre if you want. Oh my god. Her color. Bro, what is wrong with her? Uh, just she wasn't being useful today, anyways. Yeah, it was more fun than the others for sure. Yeah, だから本郷は大量殺人をやらかすつもりはなかったなるほど死者が一人じゃホラーは寂しすぎるね What the hell does that even mean? Is that like a book or a movie or something he knows? Or is he just saying some shit? Okay. Taking a few minutes to to think <laughs> on possibly how how this all could come together, uh, what they possibly left behind, clue wise, and other things that could have been it, and tried to think of uh, some theories of what it could be. And I'm proud to come back and report that I have nothing. <laughs> I have ideas, and I have like different things I observe, sure. But is it something that could be a concrete? theory without being rejected in any sort of form no absolutely not. i have ways that i think that they can make this play out at the end of the day and i don't have the all, all the details leading up to how it will work uh, but i also have ones like that where i don't i hope they don't go that route uh, i have some where i think it would be okay if they go that route so i'm just going to spill out a few things kind of leave it out there and then we'll go from there firstly i've talked about before how the show seems to do a lot of things with mysteries uh, and we don't actually get like concrete answers, if that makes sense. Uh, not saying that we don't, I guess that's not the right way to say it, but I, I'm not saying that we don't get the answers, but more so they wouldn't be opposed. I think from what I've seen so far from this, the two pull it all out from us and be like all along there actually wasn't an ending written to this. There was nothing in sight kind of to what could have happened, or maybe there was, uh, and it purposely was kind of left out the script for a certain reason. I definitely see a route like that coming. This is the one that I, I think is most likely uh, to occur, specifically because we we refuse to go and talk to the script writer. We have people who claim, I believe that the one girl who's kind of directing us claims that she's her friend, right? But then this girl's never coming to school because she's sick and all this other stuff's going on. So I, I'd have reasons to believe that because we literally are not contacting her whatsoever, that she doesn't want to be contacted about this and it's more of a test uh and we're using this as a way to be like here's this part of the script if i'm a good enough writer and i've done my job good enough you should be able to fill in the gaps with all the clues and hints that i left behind specifically for why we kind of conducted and, and brought all these people together the ones who have been solving things for other people and things within the school of recent and we think that they could really pull something out of this and it'll really prove my ability and what I'm capable of doing. I, I think I think that would be the most likely route uh, that we go down. That's a route I hope we don't go down, however. I really don't like that, especially because we built up this whole thing like there is something. Now, now I, I say I don't like that. I, I think if they go that route and then they're able to actually solve it at the end of the day, and still have like a person and be like, this is exactly what happens. I'd be okay fully with it. And actually, I think I would like that. But I think if they literally just go the route and be like, there's really no end to this because she just couldn't think of an ending or she just wanted to see if people could kind of formulate something because she couldn't find something that she was happy with. Maybe she left enough clues and some holes that she wasn't aware of that other people were able to come to certain conclusions as a result, right? And then we just kind of come to, to that conclusion. I won't like that, I don't think. But if they properly are like, there was an ending written this entire time. It wasn't, you know, presented to anybody. And we're just using all these clues to kind of find this. And it allows the writer themselves to be like, yes, this is the way I kind of set it up. I'd be okay with that. Or if they were like, I just wrote this as an open ending thing. There is no ending. It's literally just because I want you to try and piece the things together and then have your own interpretation of what kind of happened. I don't think I'd like that either. There's plenty going on with, I guess, the, the clues that we were given between the three different characters. Uh, specifically, I feel like some of them maybe not as much. Uh, specifically, 
with the grass and having that idea uh also being able to see the the idea of the specific details that were put in, into the script to be like hey make sure you don't do this make sure you don't do that or make sure you do this right so you specifically having all these cases covered so in case if they try to come up with a theory like the first guy about the person using the window we can at least understand that they couldn't run away because there's multiple flaws kind of within that so i think while he was kind of useless because i don't think he has any real foundation for the stuff that he was stating i don't think there's anything wrong with us going this route and kind of listening to what he has to say because it allows us to kind of cross things off the second guy specifically using the tactic of the rope i don't like or think that while well, they already rejected it but i don't think that that is a plausible thing as well because one there's like a pretty key thing when you're doing these types of stories not to leave certain types of evidence like that behind or not to involve that in some sort of way uh so having him have like a rope and then have to hide it or have to put it on him on his person somewhere or something like that like it doesn't work uh too well so that specifically is is wrong and something that they never really touched on but they talked about with the first one how if anybody looked outside the windows he can get caught in the line of sight or running away that is true but if anybody also looked out the windows they might be able to see this guy dangling from a rope so like but they also did touch on it be like dude he might see him through the window if he's literally just trying to break into this place like he'd have to be turned around not facing the window for so long you'd have to have perfect timing and everything would have to go so perfect it just doesn't make sense the the third supernatural theory makes the most sense uh just because it's like a bullshit like ah but well, we can go a complete different route. This is a novice writing this, right? This isn't somebody who actually is inspired in a way by these novels and stuff and is trying to create something special. They're literally just doing their own splash of whatever, right? So having us have like these supernatural things or have like these spirits or whatever involved could work. Well, that's not the case at all with this story, I think specifically because this person seemed to have used a lot of uh, Sherlock Holmes things to kind of make it more of like a, a reference in a way for the way that they were doing this and use that as ways to kind of piece together the story that they were writing it doesn't make a lot of sense for us to go that kind of route however i think that's the most interesting of the three that were presented we touch on some things specifically regarding what the author or the writer here decided uh, for us to go on and be like hey specifically giving orders to these certain people involved to be like oh don't use too much blood or whatever it was right like putting these specific like little hints and details in there in a way so that they can make sure that everything kind of pieces themselves together in a way i think that's the more the stuff that we have to kind of focus on a little bit uh specifically as well with the keys everybody took their own key is there a possibility that there was another key and somebody already had access to one beforehand? Is there a possibility that all the keys just kind of open all the doors so anybody kind of could have rushed down there and did it, right? Like more than one master key, like in a way. Is there a possibility that somebody ended up swiping multiple? I don't know. I would have to actually go back and watch that and I'm not doing that. So <laughs> if it doesn't happen, it doesn't. But I, I think that they do present a lot here that can kind of help you clue in on what it is. I feel like there's something big that I'm missing and I think that's just because it hasn't been presented to me or it has but it hasn't been like brought to my attention by physically st like uh stating it in a way uh that i'm actually becoming aware to it and it's something that's a bit more subtle and i haven't really picked up on that and i think that's the stuff that makes this really interesting because i would believe we'll get into next episode and at some point i'm gonna be like ah, i should have fucking seen it i'm still operating under the the assumption that the person who is also on the bottom floor on the other side of this person was probably like looped around and, and killed this person uh but i don't know if that's the case like it would be one of us involved i think that's definitely the case i don't think there's a there's definitely not another person involved because then they would have needed that other person for filming uh, they would have needed that person to meet when they kind of did this stuff and i guess they actually wouldn't have uh and they tried to throw out the the thing of being like oh we were looking for a seventh person to be involved but i don't know i'm not buying that part either I, i'm not here for that either I think it has to be something that was fully presented in front of us when we saw the original film. It has to be something there that was like it was in front of you this entire time. It was something so obvious in a way that it wasn't obvious at the end of the day, right? Like something a little simple like that. And I'm I'm really curious what exactly it is. It's funny too because we we had another episode I think it was like episode four or something where we kind of just sat around and rejected theories the entire time and i took issue with the way that it was kind of presented in a way and i took issue because i felt like i really was just sitting here listening to somebody read off words from a novel like the amount of dialogue that was put into it and the exact same thing happened here 
uh, with this episode. However, I found myself enjoying this a lot more. Maybe it's because the topics that they were covering found me to be more invested and interested in it uh, rather than what they were kind of presenting in a way in that other episode. I don't know. I'm actually interested to see or to think about a little bit why that was the case. The other, I guess, big thing that kind of happened here was Chitando specifically getting completely fucked up on these on these chocolates that she brought in, uh, which makes us for some really fun and cute moments from her uh, as she continuously spiraled down and out of control by the end. <laughs> Their little hiccups kind of coming in uh, during this, which were really cute when they were happening, and then also just her kind of wobbling around and being a little weird and kind of bouncing around and losing it she turned really red at one moment and then she started like seeing things and like talking about the kaleidoscope and everything. it was really fun i feel like her in that situation specifically like might be more relevant than i'm making it out to be and i was noticing like throughout it uh but once again i have no fucking clue where to even begin thinking on that and then we end up and the the original girl that we kind of talked to about this is trying to meet up with Ariki and I don't know exactly why, but I'm assuming it's because she kind of trusts him and wants to run some stuff by him and get his thoughts on things, uh, specifically just him alone, not with the others around and stuff. And I'm assuming that we're going to use that as a big way to kind of have her maybe fill us in on a little bit more detail than we were originally aware of. And if that's not the case, then maybe just her kind of get his mind on things and then maybe she's also good at kind of figuring out things from what she knows i don't know i really liked it though i like how we're kind of progressing this and using trying to use like all these details that we can uh to kind of really form something but once again i really i got nothing outside of those like few guesses of like the possibility that we could go down so i'm really interested to see i guess kind of just the way that they they progress this further in the next episode it's gonna be all for me though if you liked it all hit the like and subscribe to mean a lot to me feel free to check out the other videos and channel leave any comments about this episode or series please don't try and spoil what happened here as i'm not gonna be there yet but if there's things that i like completely skipped over just let me know and then i can kind of keep those back in my mind a little bit going into the next episode once again thanks very much for watching i'll be back for episode 10 very soon you guys have a good one though see ya